I'm going to continue on from the previous example. We previously did a bore and an adaptive clearing to just get out our part. What I'm going to do is leave a little stock on the edges in our previous operations and then clear that up with a contour finishing pass. So I'm going to right click my bore, hit edit, and in my passes tab, I'm going to check stock to leave. And it asked me for my radial stock to leave. Make sure you just remember what the number is. I'm going to choose 0.01. And now I'm going to hit OK. That should recalculate. And now I know that I have 0.01 around each edge of my entire piece. I'm going to right click our bore, create derived operation, 2D milling, and I'm going to choose a 2D contour. This should keep as much of the uh, processes from the previous operation into this operation. We have the same tool. I'll go over to geometry. I need to select the contour in this case because the bore, I was selecting a face, not an edge. So I'll select that bottom edge. You can see it's the bottom. And then I'll go to my heights tab. I'm going to leave these all the same. My bottom height still has that 0.01 offset. As for my passes, I'm going to check repeat finishing pass. And I'm going to leave most of this the same just to see, but I am going to uncheck stock to leave. This should engage the entire bit around this area just to clean up that 0.01 we left. The linking tab, I'm going to keep the same since we're just rolling around a bore. I'm going to hit OK, and we'll let that contour process. I'm going to drag this contour above the adaptive, and I'm going to click my cam, and I'm going to simulate that just to show. I want to see my bore, and I want to see that finishing pass. So I'll hit play. There's my bore, and it just went through and did a quick finishing pass. And now I'm going to do the same thing, go to my Adaptive Clearing, right-click, Create uh, Derived Operation, 2D Milling, and we're going to do a 2D Contour. Same tool. For my geometry, we're selecting that same uh, chain, that same edge. And for my heights, I'm going to keep those the same as well. As far as passes, we're going to do one pass, so no multiple depths and we're going to repeat the finishing pass. As far as linking, I'm going to keep this uh, mostly the same, but check keep tool down. I want to make sure that it stays down around the entire part, that it doesn't do a section and move over to another section. We'll leave our lead-ins for now, and we'll hit OK. What I need to do is edit the adaptive and make sure in my passes tab I leave stock, and I need to leave radial stock, not axial. So I'm going to make the axial stock on the bottom of the bit 0, and I'm going to make the radial stock 0.01 again, and I'll hit OK. Now you should have four different operations, a bore, a contour, an adaptive, and a contour. I'm going to run the entire simulation just to give an idea, and I'll add the stock. There's the finishing passes, and now it's going to do the adaptive clearing around the part. We'll make sure it finishes with that contour. That should conclude our part with conservative feed rates and plunge rates and making sure that our tool is not fully engaged the entire time. 
I'll post these on the website so you can compare them with your designs.